Hi, my name is Debbie and I'm your yoga teacher for today. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave me some feedback or give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the class. Today's short sequence is for those in the pre-menopausal or menopausal um, stage of life. Uh, if you're experiencing hot flushes or simply need to calm or cool the nervous system down, then you've found the right practice for you. So let's get started. I have got a bolster. Um, if you don't have one, don't worry about it. You could uh, use a couple of blankets or you don't even need one at all. So um, this is just an option. But we're going to get started in a pose called Sukta Bada Kanasana. So we bring the sacrum to the base of the bolster. You're not sitting on it. And just gently lie yourself back. Roll the shoulders down and away from the ears. Walk your big toes together to touch. And then gently let the knees drop open. You could also um, bring blocks or something under the knees to give you a little bit more support if that felt better for your body. And I just want you to take a moment to land and arrive on your mat. Just using this as an invitation to check in and notice how you feel. How do you feel emotionally? What's coming up? And how does the physical body feel lying here in Sukta Bharatanasana? And start to connect to your conscious breath. And this really is what yoga is all about, is the connection of mind, body and breath. So inhaling through the nose. Pause at the top, exhaling through the nose or open the mouth, exhale. One more cycle of breath, inhale. Open the mouth, exhale. I'm just gonna start by gently lifting, maybe hook the thumbs together here, so butterfly shape. Just lift the arms up and over the head. Just finding that nice stretch through the upper body, the arms, and breathe in from your fingertips all the way down to the hips. And exhale, press the breath out through the legs, out through the feet. Press your big toes in towards each other. Take another cycle of breath, just like this. Inhaling through the palms, down the arms all the way to the hips and then exhale, press the breath out through the legs, out through the feet. Change the hook of the thumb so the other thumb is on top. And again, inhale. Down the spine, exhale out through the legs, out through the feet. One more cycle of breath, just like this. Inhale, bring the arms back down and alongside the body, palms facing up. Stay here for five cycles of breath. Visualize the breath coming in through the crown of the head, washing the spine all the way to your tailbone. Exhaling, pressing the breath out through the legs, out through the feet. If you're ready for the connection to Ujjayi breath, that soft whisper in the back of the throat. Some liken it to the sound of the ocean, the wind. But make sure it's audible so you can listen and learn and notice when the breath falls away and the mind wakes up. There's a soft grazing through the back of the throat, the palate. Last cycle of breath here. Inhale, you can help draw your knees together. And if you're lying on a bolster, you're just gonna mindfully roll to the side, roll off the bolster, slide it out the way. And 
cabin line all the way down on your back. Pause here. So, bridge pose. Septu Bandha Saravangasana. Press the arms down into the floor. Inhale, lift the hips. So you could stay right here. You could, if you've got a bolster, you could bring the bolster back into the practice and have it underneath the sacrum. And again, roll the shoulders under so there's a, a nice little lift in the heart space. Press down through the feet, your outer knees are squeezing in. And just come back to visualizing the breath, your prana, your life force moving through the whole body. So inhaling through the crown of the head, washing the spine to the tailbone, and then exhale the breath out through the legs, out through the feet, pressing down into the earth. So you're really connecting to Mother Earth through the breath, inhaling through the crown of the head. Moving the breath down through the legs and out through the feet, connecting to the earth. Take five more cycles of breath, just like this. So we're really trying to cool the body down even though we bring heat into the body through the breath, but uh, the poses that we're doing today are cooling poses. We're resetting the parasympathetic nervous system so the body feels and knows it's in a safe place, feeling it's in a place of rest and digest. One more cycle of breath here. And on the next inhale, you, if you've got a block or the bolster, you can lift up. You may have just been there the whole time with your hands underneath. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, draw the knees into the chest. And just lift the nose to the knees, squeezing everything in. Take three more cycles of breath, just like this. Any point you can lower the head back down. So give yourself a well-deserved hug for showing up today. Just taking this time for yourself. Self-care starts right here. And when you're ready, place the hands on the back of the thighs. You can rock and roll yourself up, which I'm going to demonstrate, or you can roll over and press yourself all the way up and come to a sitting position. I'm going to rock myself up because I like to massage my spine because it's wonderful for spinal health. Just lubricating and then just sit all the way up. Slide the sit bones back. Good. And you can either have your legs straight or if your hamstrings are tight, you're going to just generously bend the knees. Inhale, lift both arms up, lift up. Exhale, forward fold and bow. And again, you can have bent legs here. And over time, your legs will straighten. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold and bow. And stay here. 10 cycles of breath. Breathing into your back body. Exhaling, releasing the forehead down towards the shins. And just notice where there may feel um, tension or you might feel a little tightness. Maybe in the back of the hamstrings, maybe your lower back. And just focus the in exhale into where it feels tight. Connect to your gyri breath. This is your internal gaze. Think of it as your internal compass. Because this is really what the practice is. It allows us to turn our attention inward to notice how we feel. Three more cycles of breath wherever you are. Notice what's coming out, what those 
on in our mind with conversations. It's very normal. But it helps if when your mind wakes up and dials you back into dialogue to just sweep the conversations to the side and come back to the practice by focusing on the breath. Inhale, lift yourself all the way up. Either cross the legs at the shins, roll forward, or come onto the hands and knees. Take five rounds of cat-cow, so shoulders over the wrists. Drop the belly, inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, round and round. So we're connecting movement to breath, and it's super gentle. Exhale, round. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Round. And in your own time, walk the hands forward about one handprint. Tuck the toes under. Lift up and back downward. Facing dog. And then you can just generously bend one knee and the other. And it just it feels like you're ironing the creases out of your body, maybe out of your day, maybe out of the week or your weekend. And just take a moment to pause. Just stopping before we start. Energetically, it feels like you're pressing the hands and the mat forward and away as your thighs are strong and your Heels are drifting down and your inner thighs roll back. Stay for five more cycles of breath. And at any point, you can drop the knees. You can take child's pose and just pause here. Just take care of yourself through the practice. Remember, you can take what you want and leave what doesn't work for your body. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees as you look forward and just tiptoe your feet up to the top of the mat. Hands on the shins, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold and bow. And again, you can just gen gently bend the knees here. Either bring the hands on the sacrum or clasp the elbows. Shift the weight forward so you feel the big toes release and the little toe press down. Or if you have the hands on the sacrum, maybe arms up and over is going to feel good. You could either grab a strap or a hand towel. If your shoulders feel tight and release the neck. Maybe a little nod, yes. Turning of the head, no. And if you're clasping the elbows, just change the clasp of the elbow so the other arm is on top. Inhaling here. Exhaling here. And when you're ready, drop the hands to the floor. And you're just going to unravel the spine, bringing yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae, rolling the shoulders down and away from the ears. Step the feet wide apart. Hands on the hips. Squeeze the elbow heads back so you're feeling this nice smile in your collarbones. Inhale here. Lift up, look up. Exhale. Exhale forward, fold and bow. You can either keep your hands on your hips, you can drop your hands to the floor. You could even grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Inhale, lift. Exhale forward, fold and bow. So you're bowing to yourself for showing up today. Bowing to the practice and really all the benefits yoga brings us both on and more importantly off the mat 
Head is heavy, no gripping in the neck or shoulders. Notice if you're sitting in the heels. I see this a lot with my students and in classes. So shift the weight forward, re-spread the toes. And if your crown of the head is touching the floor, you can walk your feet in a little bit so you're further away from the floor. You don't, we don't want to completely um, land the head on the floor for this pose. Take five more cycles of breath. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Pressing down through the feet. Inhaling, lifting yourself all the way up. Tiptoe the feet in. Good, and then we're just going to gently sit all the way down. Sitting cross-legged, you could sit back on the bolster. But sitting up nice and tall, roll the shoulders down and away from the ears. Keeping your left hand down, bring your right hand alongside the face. We're going to move into a pranayama called Nadi Shona, and it balances the left and right side of the brain and the masculine and the feminine energy. And again, it just relaxes the parasympathetic nervous system, keeps you connected to the breath, which cools the body. Take your peace fingers, bend them down. Thumb over the right nostril, ring finger over the left. Gently close the eyes. Inhale through both nostrils. Close off the right nostril. Exhale through the left. Inhale left. Close off the left nostril. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close off the right. Exhale left. Inhale, left. Pause the switch, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Pause the switch, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Close off the left, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Pause and switch, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Pause and switch, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Pause and switch, exhale, left. Let's take one more cycle just like this. Inhale, left. Close off the left, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Pause and shift, exhale, left. Inhale, lower the right hand down. Draw the knees. And we're gently going to. Lower ourselves all the way back down. Ready for the most important pose of all, Shavasana. Really giving ourselves permission to take time to pause. So that we can stop before we start. Let go of the practice by letting go of the breath and return to normal shallow breathing. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and a big sigh out. Receive the practice. Shavasana.
please feel free to stay in Shavasana and honor your practice by just taking more time to yourself. Otherwise, start wiggling your fingers, subtle movement of the toes. Inhaling, lifting the arms up and over the head as you breathe in. And open the mouth, exhale. Draw the knees into the chest, giving yourself a wild deserved hug and a big squeeze in, maybe rock side to side. And just release, roll to the right side. Take a moment to pause. And then pressing down through the hands, lifting yourself all the way up. And coming back into Sukhasana. Easy seat. Bring the hands together at heart center, bowing chin to chest in gratitude. Shifting the prayer to the third eye. Finding the connection to yourself. And honouring yourself for taking time to practice. Showing up, doing the work. Inhale here. Namaste. Well done, yogis. Thanks for sharing your practice with me. Be sure to subscribe and leave me some feedback. It really helps others who are looking for um, some good yoga on YouTube. There's thousands of opportunities here for people to take. So your uh, positive comments really help. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye.